ャパンキャストのビデオエピソードへようこそ。ひとみです。ホールです。When I walk in the spot, this is what I see. Everybody stops and they're staring at me. I got passion in my pants and I ain't afraid to show it. This is Japan Cast and I know it. This is episode 71. What's this one? I don't know. Don't ask me what the kids are listening to these days. Is that I'm old. <laughs> Uh, thanks to everybody who checked out Japan Cast University this week.、Uh, working hard to get all the show notes in there and get rid of the old、uh, shop site where we had to manually email them to you. It's all automated now. And、um, thanks to everybody who purchased your first product Hi. the、uh, Japanese at home. Yes. And we are,、uh, we've been talking about doing this kind of stuff for, for a long time because. Not everybody can afford private lessons, a private tutor, and not everybody can just go take Japanese classes at your local university, or they might even, not even have them. So, we've been、mm-hmm. trying to come up with stuff that's like less expensive, but it's also not something you're going to go to your Barnes and Noble or your Borders and just buy a book. And what's, what's the, the difference? What's the point? Yeah. yeah, no, I can't. So, we're trying to come up with things that fill that gap that, where you couldn't just go to a store and buy it. And it's not going to be just like a class, it's going to be、mm. different than all of that. So. Right. So, more like、uh, casual speech. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not business speech. Right,、uh-huh. informal. Because you can get business in、right. Japanese books anyway. Pimsler's great for that. Yeah, Pimsler's great. Pimsler's really good for that. That's、mm-hmm. Shucho Shinakadeba, not a n i n e s We don't talk like that every day. Right. So. With your friends, you definitely、no. would not talk like that. No. You would not say, Shosho o Machi Kurasai. No. To your, We say, Ch o t o Mate. Right. Right. So, you're working on some new stuff too?、Mm. Sentence pattern. Sentence pattern. Yes. Which that was, we had talked a long time ago about、oh、we were going to do a DVD. And we turned it into this instead. Because、mm-hmm. I think this is going to be, it's going to be le- much less expensive.、Mm-hmm. Because the DVD was going to require sp- buying stock footage and also going through、uh, Amazon,、yeah. which would require a disc pressing and all that stuff. So, It just seemed like this is a little bit better way to go because we can keep the cost down. And I think that's really important that we keep things inexpensive and, and、right. easily accessible. So, anything else that's、uh, going on? You have nothing else? Okay. Well, up next we have、uh, Culture Corner. But before we do that, I want to thank you guys for donating. As always, it's, you know, we said your, your donations. Account for the vast majority of our support. So we really do appreciate it. It、um, doesn't really matter how much, every, every single dollar counts. And we understand for, for a lot of you, it's a lot of money to give a dollar. I mean, it's tough out there. So we do, honestly, we really do appreciate it. And everybody, no matter what you give, you get show notes. And、um, you're now arranging chats and send out emails for everybody for Google Voice. And, but if you do $20 a month, Then you do one on one kind of thing. I'm thinking about、uh, Google Hangout maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow.、Sometime. Okay. So if you're interested in supporting us, just visit、uh, jcast, jca.st slash donate.、Okay. And we appreciate it. So up next, we have Culture Corner. Which means February 14th is Valentine's Day. I guarantee someone out there, some guy is like, oh crap, I didn't get anything for my wife <laughs> right now. I don't think so. Or my girlfriend. I bet there's somebody watching this one. Oh no. I don't think so. It's very. Because if you go to supermarkets, everywhere is pink and red. Gu- guys don't pay any attention. Trust <laughs> me, we have no idea. Anyway, okay. Okay, so it's a good reminder. Yes. <laughs> so, February 14th is Valentine's Day. 2 <laughs> 月14日は Valentine's Day. です We say Valentine's Day.、Mm-hmm. Not V sound, but Babi Bubebo. But Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. That's how we say it in Japanese. And you know, we have talked about how we celebrate 
uh, Valentine Day in Japan you know, in the past yeah. you know, several times. So uh, I'm not going to go into that. But, um, you know, uh, many people, many guys, send ladies mm-hmm. flowers, you mm-hmm. know, in many occasions, different, different occasions, occasions mm-hmm. like, you know, anniversary or... Or you're in trouble. You're, <laughs> you're, you're in trouble, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but we do that same thing in Japan. I yes. don't know for, uh, if when you are in trouble, but... Uh, uh-huh. Like, yeah. Graduation, mm-hmm. Mother's Day, mm-hmm. have, uh, birthdays. And also, we bring, like, flowers to a person who's sick, mm-hmm. maybe, in yep. the hospital. Or, yep, we do that. Yeah. So, we in Japan, we do the same thing, too. Okay. And, but, uh, we have a rule. Yes. When you uh, bring flower to a sick person, okay. there are certain kind of flower that you don't want to bring. Okay. What would that be? So there are like uh, there are several, but I just picked four for them. Okay. So here's the example of flower that you should avoid to give to a sick person. Okay. One. Shikuramen. Hmm. Okay. Hai, do Cyclamen? I don't know how you pronounce yeah, that. I'm not, in I'm not sure English. what the. We say shikuramen. Mm-hmm. So C Y C L A M E N. Shikuramen. Okay. So the sound of shi, the mm-hmm. first one, shikuramen, shi. This is connected with death, death. right? That's four, right? Yeah, number four, shi too. So, right. uh, but shinu, see, death, or mm-hmm. to die, shi, we associate with death. The sound she. Right. So, that's why you don't want to... Uh, also, this shikurame, shiku. Uh-huh. Next one, ku. It also uh, associate, we, can, we associate with suffering. Okay. So, pain not, yeah. or suffering. Yeah, you don't want to bring so that. So, death, <laughs> pain, suffering, shiku, not good. Right. So, Would that be a really bad idea then also for like a girlfriend to give that to? She's not going to really appreciate it? If she likes Shikuramen, then mm. I think it's not a problem, but it's specifically sick person because okay. you don't want any death or suffering. Okay. So, okay, so number two, tsubaki. Ka- camellia? I don't know. Okay. So, camellia? Uh huh. C A M E L L I A. I'll have all this stuff behind us. Ah, so. <laughs> Remember, we have green screen now. I, I didn't know. So, Tsubaki, in Japanese we say tsubaki. Mm-hmm. Uh, this tsubaki drop easily. Drops the, the blossoms. blossoms. Yeah, mm-hmm. blossoms drop easily. Which makes us imagine death. Okay. So, you don't want to take that one. Okay. Hi. So, number three, keshi. Uh, poppies? Mm-hmm. So, this too, the petals, mm-hmm. the poppies, uh, also fall easily. Makes us think of bagels. And you give up, eh? <laughs> bagels. Oh, see? Poppy seed bagels. <laughs> so, and this give a bad impression, you know. Okay, falling. so again, falling mm, petals. petals. Mm. And finally, number four, hachiue no hana. Yeah, this is an interesting one, a potted plant. Yeah, hachiue no hana, hachi ue no hana. So, a potted plant has a root, mm-hmm. right? Or a ne. In Japanese, we say ne for root. Uh, and it's connected with this word, netsuku. Netsuku means to be sick in bed. Okay. So that's why you want to avoid uh, taking potted plant. Potted plant, because it reminds them that they are sick in bed. Yeah. And or you're going to stay. Yeah, stay in bed. And yeah, we were talking beforehand, this... this and I don't know if anybody else would have this impression, but me personally, if I was sick and somebody brought me a potted plant, especially if I was suffering from an illness that like you could die from, to me, when I see a potted plant, I think, oh, well, they expect me to, to live on because I'm going to have to take care of it. But do you guys give potted plants? Some people do. Some seeds? people do because they feel like it, flowers wilt and die quickly. But a potted plant's gonna be there and keep going. Mm. So my impression would be that, oh, that I'm gonna keep going because I'm gonna be here to take care of this plant versus the flowers that wilt and die and go away. It's just like me, I'm gonna then die of this illness. So 
But in Japan, it's a big no-no. So you never give potted plant to no. a sick person? I will freak out if I see somebody, you know, in the hospital, like, taking like, a potted wow. plant. Like, that person doesn't know. That's it's really interesting. <laughs> wow. Yeah, give them I guess the best advice, though, is if you are in Japan and you want to take flowers to somebody for any occasion, ask the florist. Yeah. It's the best way. We do it too. Just explain, you know, best you can. Yeah, what your purpose, you know, graduation or this is a, you know, to a sick person or anniversary. Right. And they'll tell you. Yeah, that would be bad if you didn't know when you took a pot yeah. of plant. But yes, yeah, shikuramen, tsubaki, keshi. But the big thing is this uh, hachiue no hana, pot of mm. plant. Hmm. All right. Well, up next uh, is uh, idiom and the bonus. Paul tries to speak Japanese. Hi, new segment. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, well, before that, we wanted to thank Busted Teas for their sponsorship. Um, as I said last week, just type in Jcast slash Teas, and it should take you to their ten dollar T-shirt sale. Are they still doing it? Yes, they are. And in fact, once again, I got a coupon code and I didn't use it. <laughs> Every once in a while, if you go, they'll pop up a coupon code for 25% off, mm. which is awesome. Um, but when I saw that, I thought it was really funny. Was It's a shirt with an astronaut on it and the American flag, and it says, Finders Keepers, he's on the moon. <laughs> I like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, all right, up next we have our uh, phrase or idiom. So, uh, phrase or idiom? Idioms. Idioms, okay. Related to voice. Get a little bit, get a little bit, Koi. Koi? Mm-hmm, koi, voice. So, the first one. Koi ga kakaru. Koi ga kakaru. Is it to buy? Oh, buy? Yeah, kakaru. It's not, what, what is kakaru? Kakaru is to... Like, kakaru. It's difficult. Koe ga kakaru. We usually say kakeru for like to hang something uh-huh. on the uh, wall. Mm-hmm. Like a poster o kakeru or like kagami o kakeru mm-hmm. to hang something on the floor. But this one is really different. Koe ga kakaru. Literally, someone's voice approaches. Okay. Kakaru, I guess. Hmm, okay. But it... Actually, it, uh, it means to be asked. Okay. Yeah, you can't really guess. No. Koe ga kakaru. Okay. So, for example, you can say something like, Itoko kara eiga ni ikanai ka to koe ga kakarimashita. Itoko kara eiga ni ikanai ka to koe ga kakarimashita. I was asked by my cousin if I would like to go to a movie with him. Mm. So, so he was asked, this person was asked by Itoko, cousin, mm-hmm. if he wanted to go to a movie. Okay. So, koe ga kakaru, to be asked. And the next one, koe o korosu. That's you. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Okay. Oh, hi. Koe o korosu. So it's familiar, korosu. No, no, it's because you, when we do episodes a lot, you, 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 you. Maybe, maybe I need more sugar. <laughs> uh, to kill a voice. Right, uh, literally, to kill one's own voice. Mm. You hear that all the time in bleach, koros. Yeah, but this is idiom, so. Right. Koe o korosu, which means to whisper. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, example, Hashimoto-san wa koe o koroshite himitsu o uchiyakemashita. Hashimoto-san wa koe o koroshite himitsu o uchiyakemashita. In a whisper, Mr. Hashimoto revealed a secret to me. Mm. So, koe o koroshite, because it's a secret, right? You can't really mm-hmm. say it out loud. It's the... Secret recipe for KFC. He was revealing it. <laughs> the herbs and spices that go into KFC. No, no, now you can make it at home. That's a Krabby Patty. 
the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, koe o korosu. To whisper. All right. Right. And then next one. Koe o nomu. Koe o nomu. To drink your voice. Um, it's kind of. Okay. Literally, to swallow one's own voice. Okay. But it means to become speechless. But you can't say koe o taberu. No. Koe o nomu. And this nomu too, it's not usual kanji to drink. Not that kanji, it's a hmm. different kanji. Koe o nomu. Interesting. Hai. So, example. Jishin no kekka no amari no hidosa ni koe o nomimashita. Jishin no kekka no amari no hidosa ni koe o we became speechless at the terrible results of the earthquake. If you see something terrible or great, we know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitude. That's Okay. To become speechless. Cool. So now we're up to. It's not necessarily listening comprehension. It's, no, it's mm -hmm. Paul tries to speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, you know? Hi. So it's like a skit, right? <laughs> not necessarily a skit. I mean, I'm just going to try to answer your questions or. Oh, okay then. I won't even try to look. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, I won't look at my notes. Hi. Ja. Ashita, tanjoubi desho? Hmm. Konshu. Ah, konshu. Ashita today. はい。じゃあ、何歳になるの?あ、22歳。嘘つき。32歳。嘘つき。はい、42歳ですね。well, fine. So did I get it? Oh, yeah. Raishu. Hai, hai, raishu. Yeah. Demo, they won't see this until. Ah, oh, okay. That's why you say Konshu. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. So we'll try to do a little bit more of that. Maybe I'll speak slightly <laughs> more next time. But up next we have the mailbag. We got a whole bunch of questions. And uh, we'll try to answer them all. Mm. But before that, we want to thank Audible. If you like podcasts, which obviously if you're watching this, you probably do, and you don't have time to read books, which a lot of us don't, Audible is really an awesome place to go. And I picked something this week I thought was really cool. It's called Shinto and Japanese New Religions by Professor Brian Earhart. And it's basically a book that covers... Uh, shrine Shinto, sect Shinto, and then a lot of the new religions that have popped up over the past 100 years in Japan. Mainly cults. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's looked really interesting. I haven't listened to it. I just found it today, but I'm, I'm added it to my wish list, so I'm going to probably listen to that soon. So check that out. Uh, just go to jcast slash audible and sign up for your free trial. You can get a free book and cancel anytime and you can keep the book forever. Hi. So up next we have Japancast Mailbag. Cool, we have letters. We actually have a lot of letters this week. I don't know why all of a sudden we got a bunch of them, but... Because you kept them. Could be. Uh, let's so, who we have first? Uh, Heather asks, and you'll have to help me with this because I can't read this kanji. I have a small question. I've heard seen in books the word ally as both Mikata and Yokojo. Is there a difference? And if there is, what circumstances do you use each one in? Hmm. So, this one. Which one? Oops. A L L Y. Ally. Yeah. That is Mikata. Okay. And you wrote Yokojo, but I, I think you meant Yokocho. And, and that is 
A L L E Y. Alley. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> one, one is mm -hmm. your ally, your. Mm -hmm. Mikata. Somebody you're allied with, your friends, your partnered with, or whatever. And the other one's uh, an alley between yeah. buildings. Yeah, your kocho. Okay. Hi. Alrighty. Uh, George writes to us, oh crap. <laughs> he didn't write, oh crap. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> he could have written no crap. I don't think so, yeah. Oh no, I'll get to it. Let me just flip through all of it. <laughs> okay. George writes, oh crap. No, you didn't. <laughs> he says, hello, I would like to know if you have put together any written material for the listeners to follow. I have just watched your first, the first of your videos and have listened, visited japancast.net, but it is not clear to me. And the answer is yes. Um, you can go to jcast slash university, and we have, I think, uh, 7 through 40 show notes up right now, and I'm going to try to get all of them up there. Yeah. Or as we said at the beginning, uh, anybody who's a donator can get show notes each week, and the show notes you can follow along, and they will have the kanji, hiragana, and, and a lot of times a little extra bonus information mm -hmm. on the show. Hi. All right. Uh, Sarah writes to us from the UK. She says, Hi, Paul and Hitomi. I love your podcast and have been a fan for a couple of years. I live in London and have taken Japanese classes for two years using Mina no Nihongo uh, study books, but I have had to stop temporarily as I am changing career and retraining. I will take classes up again in a year's time or so, but meanwhile, I do not want to totally lose the little I have learned. I have been trying to pick up some Japanese from anime or cartoons. Which would you recommend for a beginner to, uh, to watch, and where can one view them? I've been searching online, but have no luck so far, as I only seem to come across dodgy websites. I ended up buying some Bleach DVDs on Amazon, which I quite enjoyed, though the last series I uh, have been too much focused on fighting mm -hmm. and so uh yeah yeah bleach is definitely lots of fighting lots of magic not necessarily magic but like, i don't know spiritual powers or whatever but it's not really good for i think um learning japanese yeah it's not practical right um, I would say if you just want like day-to-day -day Japanese, the one that I've watched recently that I thought was great was uh, Usagi Drop. Mm. It's, we talked about it on the show before, um, a guy who ends up not really adopting but taking care of his grandfather's daughter that the grandfather had had with the maid. Who, so, and it just follows him taking her to daycare, going to work, lots of day-to-day Activities. There's no magic. There's no robots. There's no any of that <laughs> stuff. It's just straightforward. Going to work. How do you apply at daycare? What about um, going to school? Shot records. Things like that. It's it's really good for day to day Japanese. Yeah, I, it, it's in um, standard, right? Japanese no dialect. I don't think so. No, it's just standard. Um, another one that I thought was a lot of fun. It's not necessarily as practical. But there's a lot of good cultural stuff. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Nietzsche Joe? <laughs> it's weird, but it's very weird. But there's a lot of good cultural things, and for the most part, other than the the weird stuff, they do speak fairly normal Japanese. I guess. You know, you can tell when they're being crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nietzsche Joe means everyday life, right? Yes. Okay. And some of the the other thing that I thought was really good with Nietzsche Joe is the the ending mm -hmm. of each show. A lot of times had very traditional songs that <laughs> Japanese kids sing in schools. So yeah, a cultural everybody thing. Everybody knows that those songs, yeah. So I thought that you know if you're again interested in more than just language but cultural things, if you you know listen to those songs, learn those songs, it'd be very surprising to a Japanese person if you could sing along to any of those. Yeah, because everybody knows that right. those songs. But you would never expect oh, Gaijin no, to no. know those. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I did check, and as far as I know, both of those are on Crunchyroll.com, so you should be able to check those out. I don't know if you can view all of them for free. They, they are a paid site, but a lot of times you can watch um, if, as long as you have commercials. Oh. All right. Um, Desiree writes to us and says, 
I just subscribed to your video podcast and it's is kind of glitchy. I thought maybe it was the video, but it's not. I think my old computer or my computer is older and does not support HD. Um, so just so everybody knows, we have the HD video. We have also a standard definition video and also the audio only mm. uh, version. So if HD is not working for you, if you're having problems with it, definitely in iTunes, you can subscribe to the SD version. And then also we put everything up on YouTube. So just go to jcast slash YouTube. Or you can also watch on Blip TV, which is blip.tv slash Japancast. Or if you have an internet capable TV or a Roku box, just look at the uh, Blip TV app and search for Japancast and you'll find us. Hi. Anything else before we end the show? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, before we do that, let's feature a Japancast friend of the week. Yeah, hi, hi. Yes, ne. So, the Japancast Friends Network, if you're new, check it out. It's friends.japancast.net. It's where you can meet people who are in Japan looking for somebody to maybe do language exchange with. There are also people who are looking for somebody to go out drinking with or... Hmm. Yeah, you, you see all kinds of folks on there. Cool. This week's featured member is Saori, and her message is... I really want to study English and French. I'm looking for someone who can teach me. If possible, who live in Japan. Possible, nice person. Possible. Okay. Possible. So if you want to say hello to Saori, or find someone to practice your Japanese with... Hi. Again, head over to friends.japancast.net, and you can sign up for a free membership... And check out all the people that are there. It's huge. There's so many people there. So mm. you're bound to find somebody with very similar interests. Yeah. And it's a great way to find somebody to practice your Japanese. And you could teach them French or English mm. or German. Russian, German, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, all right. That's about it, right? Hey. Okay. Thank you guys again for your donations and support. And we'll see you next time. Hi. Japan.